I clicked the wrong card. <laughs> I clicked the wrong card. <laughs> I clicked the wrong card. Hey, buddy, watch this. What's the idea of this deck? Anti warrior? No, it's just a big warrior. It's just about summoning big stuff. It's not really designed to counter warrior that much at all, frankly. Um, it, it can sometimes be warrior. You know, it can overwhelm them with stuff, but that's not really the plan. It's just a different way to play a warrior. It's more fun. It has the boom reaver and it's the real goal. Uh, Fibonacci has has made a really good big warrior list. This one borrows a lot of that core package. It's certainly inspired by that, but changes out some of the um, some of the threats to be a little bit more defensive. I, I went double Stegatron, which I think Fibonacci runs double Stegatron, but I also added Batterhead as well for token decks. If you encounter a lot of token Druid in particular, it can be handy. And then um, Deathwing 2 to, to basically squeeze in an extra um, underplayed legendary card because that's sort of the so go whole goal today. Uh... I think plot twist would work well here. Why? Why do you think plot twist would work well here? I'm curious. What do you think it would do? What do you think it would do? Agent Iowa says, I've heard plot twist plus Petru gives Warrior a 92% win rate. There is weird data that shows up sometimes on HS Replay. <laughs> you never know. Is there any way for me to get um, a Betrug in this deck? Definitely no way to get a plot twist, right? I don't think there's a way to get a Betrug either. We don't have... Uh, well, no, we could discover... Yeah, we could discover um, Pinata and get a Betrug for sure. Is there any way to get a plot twist, though? I don't think there's any way to add a plot twist, is there? Man, this Dragon Warrior has showed up a lot today. Is there some reason this deck is, like, gaining ground right now? Because it showed up a couple times today already. It's kind of surprising to me. Kind of shocking. Kind of shocking. Uh, Rogue might be able to make plot twist work. It is kind of in the spot Druid was pre ramp nerfs where it can make almost anything work around its good core. Yeah, maybe Rogue could. The problem is you don't have a lot of cards. Well, no, Rogue actually does have a lot of cards in hand often. <laughs> you could trade out lackeys for other things. Plot Twist is M. Night Shyamalan's favorite card. I always feel like I'm saying his name in some, like, incredibly offensive way. I never feel like I'm saying it correctly. <laughs> I feel like I'm adding way too many syllables or something. I don't know. Um, in Wild, you could get a Plot Twist with Nefarian. Yeah, yeah, in Wild, yeah. You can always get about anything in Wild, I feel like. There's always some crazy shenanigan available in Wild. Standard, probably a little bit harder. Uh, doubt the, the efficacy of Deathwing in this deck. Well, it's just a good big minion. There is a, a dragon package, big warrior out there too, that runs Ysera and Deathwing. And I mean, this has dragon roars too. Not that you need the Deathwing to support the dragon roars. It can occasionally with things like Crowd Roaster. It can just add up a little bit better. But uh, really the goal is just a big minion. And occasionally I think the Deathwing is like a last ditch out is pretty valuable. Just getting to wipe your opponent's board one more time. It, not against warrior probably because warrior has a million ways to kill a Deathwing. But against some decks, you know, that just like... Oh, interesting. Okay. Good time to weapons project, maybe. Getting that, like, just last hurrah um, is pretty good. Welcome, boys. Make some room by the hearth, won't ya? Okay. Hey, another gifted sub from Tim. Dude, thank you. Three gifted subs. Grats to Nez Denon, dude. Thank you, Tim. Gotta go. He says, thanks again for your enthusiastic ways and years of entertainment. Dude, appreciate it. Um, thanks for giving back the best you can, man. Always, uh, always goes a really, really long way. You don't have to, but it helps me a lot. So thank you. What? Wait, what? We're both running. We're both running Batterhead. How weird is that? That's weird, I would argue. That's pretty weird. This guy's also got Batterhead in his deck. That's not created from anything. That's in his freaking deck. Weird. Dimensional Ripper looking good here. Uh, no fails. It's all good. Vargoth is, is clearly amazing. And Bulldozer and Deathwing are good. And we need to play it soon because we're actually running out of minions. Uh, would honestly like to trade in these 1-1s as well if I can. 
What am I watching? What is happening? Uh, he's got some kind of crazy Akali batterhead combo happening here. That is sick, dude. I love it. I love it. Uh, I can trade this in. I can't really kill it, though, unfortunately, if I want to rip the... Oh, the Vargoth Ripper play is dead. The dream is dead. Still pretty good, though. Bulldozer's probably the best bet, just to kill this easily. Okay. Hope he doesn't have a Lisi on it. Yeah, we may have to. Yeah, I mean, we can... We can win this with just pressure. You know, this deck has that capability just to build so many big boards that they can't resolve. But, um, yeah, if he has Elysiana, it's going to be tough. We have a lot of value in this deck, but not a lot of anti-fatigue protection, right? So we have, like, Dragon Roars, we have Omega Assembly, so we can add a lot of minions. Ugh, that's not a good roll. We can add a lot of minions to our um, hand, but not a lot to our deck, right? So... I actually thought about tossing Elysiana in a big warrior list because it's not like the worst minion to get off of your um, your Dimensional Ripper, right? Like, it's actually a pretty decent minion to get off your Ripper. Uh, the Vargoth being gone does make the Boom Reaper better. Unfortunately, Deathwing would have been good too, though. Let's just build another good board while we're not worried about... Uh, Hero power. Like, sometimes we'll want a hero power for uh, delivery drones. And if we're not a hero powering for delivery drone, then building a board is a good good alternative. Even if we don't get the rush value. Hard to predict what a batterhead and a Kali guy is rounding out his deck with. Good point. Yes. <laughs> we have no idea what is going on up there. It's a dragon... Uh, a Kali... Double brawl. Okay. That's good news for me. That is going to make some of these plays very, very sticky. Because, like, now my boom ship makes sense, right? Like, suddenly boom ship is amazing. Because double brawl is gone. In fact, can I just boom ship this hand? As long as it pulls a, a Vargoth, I could Omega Assembly boom ship and then get six minions out. And he doesn't have a brawl. Like, I'm out of cards, which sucks. But he's... Oh, that was a... Where's that brawl from? Oh, that's from Fire Tree Witch Doctor. Never mind. Never mind. Thank God I looked. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Uh, so what do I want to use my Vargoth here? I probably really want to like Omega Assembly Vargoth or Dragon Roar Vargoth for value, not tempo, right? Like I'm probably going to look for a value Vargoth. So I don't think I need to do anything now. All right, let's just play a dude. He's going to be like, what the heck? We're both running. Um, we're both running. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <sighs> His is certainly not as strong as mine. That's good news. Uh, I think I'm actually going to face sync one of these just to preserve some health on this guy, right? Or is this not overkill? Yeah, it's just it's a tick attack. Yeah, let's just face sync one. Gets me a little extra face damage and um, just preserves health. I don't want him to go down to four. We've gotten the pink hero power a lot already, man. Come on, give me the good ones. Give me the good stuff. Butter bread. <laughs> That's a good name for it. Butter bread. <laughs> butter bread. It's like bunny bread, but butter bread. I like it a lot. That's funny, guys. Uh, no weapon removal in this deck, unfortunately. My batter head's dead. So, give me that health. Did matter a little, I suppose. Did matter a little. Uh, Dragon Roar puts me at 10. I'm gonna have to play one of these if I go for the Dragon Roar. Could get two 9 drops, and I'd have to commit the Omega Devastator. That wouldn't make me thrilled. Carry on, Drake. Sure. Why not? We got the boom earlier, so we are, you know, building a, a pretty good value advantage with this Dr. Boom over time. Poisonous is a little risky with Super Collider, I'm now realizing. Perhaps I was better off not poisoning this. Gotta think about that. He hits the Dr. Boom, so that, that does reduce our impact here on the value. So it's, it is really going to come down to Elysiana, isn't it? Like, whether or not... We have a, a late game advantage. Uh, Guton Garong, dude. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Good to see a Guton Garong. Yeah, I, I really do regret giving this poisonous now, guys. <laughs> I kind of have a dead hand. I pretty much have a dead hand here. Um, 
I don't want to play a minion into my poisonous uh, super collider. Uh, the regrets, man. The regrets, right? Like, <laughs> I could just like throw out a Vargoth, but I need that for value, I think. Um, I could just throw away a Warpath, I guess. I don't love it. I don't love it. What else am I going to use it for, though? I got to drop a card, so this is kind of mandatory. All right. There's some logic to weaponing here in case I hit the weapons project and I want to play it next turn. But I think we'll just chill. He slammed a Harrison, so there's no downside there. Oh, delivery drone's actually a problem because I don't have hand space. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, this is fine. That's good. Now I can play some minions. That's, thank you for that, sir. Thank you, man. Thank you. Malagos Warpath. If I could stick a Malagos, is pretty baller. That's a cool idea. I have too many cards in hand, guys. Way too many. I have to play this Devastator just to make some space, I think. Um, clearly not the best utilization. And I might have to take a cheap mech here if I do take anything. Um, Hecklebot? Yeah, let's grab a Hecklebot. That might pull an Elysiana or something. I don't know. We can help. Sure, that's fine. Actually, let's go this way because of that ping, right? Makes the... Oh, actually, no. That doesn't matter because of the stupid uh, Super Collider. Yeah, it might matter. We want that charge to go away, so that's fine. Deathwing creates hand space. Shut up, guys. Shut up. I know. I'm aware. <laughs> um, I need... I do really need to clear some hand space here. This is just gonna come down to Elysiana. There's no other uh, there's no other calculation in, in effect here. I I think we could still get a good board if I hit like a ripper right now and I double bulldoze and he doesn't have the slam and like there's certainly ways. He's at 29, so we have some some outs there. Uh, boom ship, honestly not looking bad. I get three giant dude, well two giant dudes, one tiny dude. Um. This is two random dragons, right? We haven't actually seen these yet. This is a card he's had for a while, so this feels like it could be a brawl. Maybe a shield slam. I don't know. I don't have a golden deathwing. I think I might actually have one. I don't know. I don't know. It is possible to get six dudes off the Omega Boom ship, but I don't actually want that to happen. I'd almost rather the Vargoth make me extra dudes than summon the dudes. I think we have to boom ship though. Uh, that said, I guess the assembly's worth it just in case it does make me extra dudes. Like, I don't actually care if these dudes get summoned. I almost want these dudes to just get added to hand again. Although we're going to burn some, so maybe they should get summoned. Uh, I'm going to burn a card here. Oh, nothing matters except Ripper. Oh, man. I don't know if the value was better or if the board was better probably i like the value better but this was pretty bad value return two tiny gross max right it's not really worth it so <clears throat> debatable debatable hopefully there's no brawl if these actually do stick then the value was was for real worth it that was great uh clockwork hero power right now is pretty good too i think pulling them was better to draw out the last brawl well I feel like this will eat a brawl too, won't it? Shields, I mean, these being next to each other sucks, by the way. Because he can attack here to kill the Malagos. He takes 12, I guess. I don't mind that so much. Ah, Boon. This deck is so greedy. He's sacrificing a lot of tempo for this greed. We're both sort of playing these, like, almost hand hand warriors it's kind of wild it's kind of wild execute oh that's good that's a good play so he will be able to clear the vargoth here but the malagos stays up so i can warp out for a ton no we burned the ripper the only card that mattered i didn't care about anything else uh i didn't care about anything else I feel like it would be pretty greedy to go for the uh, the warpath here. We have a good good ping kaboom bot play or whatever. That's fine. Um, 
Might want to go ahead and heckle bot too, just to see what happens. Because if I get an Elysiana, that's going to be really, really good. JP Wildcat agrees. JP Wildcat agrees. Shouldn't made that dumb play then. Oh, hey, guys. Guys. Whoa. Do you guys know who Daniel T... If you guys... You guys know who's in chat? Daniel T. Aom is a... He's uh He was at World Champs this month. He's like a legit world champ player. Um, he competed at HCT Worlds. Like, he was in the top 16. Um, I, it's crazy to be in the, like, presence of royalty. Oh, no, wait. That wasn't you. No, I don't know who you are. <laughs> I don't think you're famous at all. <laughs> wow. Uh, first off, soul crushing approach, Regis. Soul crushing approach. I'm sorry, Daniel. That was mean. Uh, secondly, Emrys is some hot garbage. Some hot garbage. Um, Dan, dude, if you got a good play, man, say it early. Don't say it after. It doesn't help. It does. <laughs> it doesn't help to have hindsight, dude. I, I need to hear those things beforehand. Like, if you thought the play was bad, that's fine. Let me know. I'm sure there are good plays that you can offer. And I'm just joking, dude. I don't mean to throw you under the bus. Uh, your comment wasn't that rude. It's fine. It's fine. Totally don't need to throw you under the bus for that. Just having a little fun at your expense. My apologies. I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't do it. Um, but maybe, maybe avoid, like, the dumb language and stick to more, like, I would have taken a different line, you know? Like, maybe that's a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit more, um... A little bit more of a good approach, right? A little bit more of a good approach. Uh, <laughs> but again, my apologies for being rude, dude. Uh, just with the Omega Simply play was, bad, play was bad, but had but to be nice no to be called out for being an internet better. jerk. So just make better plays. <laughs> you know, like the plays you make, but better. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. Uh, your opponent seems to be going for the value over winning line. Yeah, he is indeed. And, and interestingly, we do have a lot of you know pressure and damage available at the moment. So we're getting close. This Darius is a real pain in my behind, though. We can hit an execute here. Um, this is also just a six, so that's plenty, I guess. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> that slam hits for seven. I have a Malagos on board. Um. Yeah, that'll be fine. That's great. That's totally fine. That'll also work. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. This is fine. I got to play something, but that's okay. All right. Turning rover it is. <laughs> I didn't want to draw a card anyway, so that's fine. Seven damage slam. Can you armor 14? No, it's not actually healing with armor, unfortunately. Uh, it, it counts as something separate, so it doesn't it doesn't double. This will double because it's damage. It'll go to six, but not the armor. Uh, yeah, surprise burst. You're right. We do actually have a lot of surprise bursts. We have six, ten, eleven. We're kind of getting close to lethal, guys. Um, I don't think I want to go for it yet, right? I don't think we go for it yet. Omega Devastator uh, will help me clear this up. I do kind of want to ping face, though. To get that extra damage out. Mm. <laughs> Is this the second Emrys he's played, by the way? <laughs> Does he have two Emrys? His next minion is going to be insanely large. Um, shame I don't have any magnetics to, to hit these, right? That kind of sucks. Uh, I guess I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna ping this ping face. I don't think we have lethal. There's no lethal. Lethal with Warpath, is it? Hold up, let's think. Okay, hold up, you might be right. Hold up, 6, 10, 11. He's at 15. Now, we don't have Lethal with Warpath. We have 6, 5, 6 is 11, plus 5 is 16. Um, oh my god. Is it Lethal? It's not Lethal. Oh, it is Lethal. Oh my god, thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. I got it off, right? I played Dragon Roar instead. Oh my god. 
I clicked the wrong card. <laughs> I clicked the wrong card. <laughs> I clicked the wrong card. Oh no! I clicked the wrong card. Oh, I clicked the wrong card. Oh God Almighty! <laughs> oh. I clicked the wrong card. Oh, I was like, where's my warpath? Why is he alive? Oh, I don't think I've ever had a worse experience in my life. <laughs> I just think I have never felt worse in my life. Play Despacito. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh. Big boy Zilliax. Yeah, it's almost like he was dead and now he's not dead. It's almost as if something drastically changed. Alright, we need to win the brawl team. Dude, I can feel your pain all the way from here. Uh it's my fault for playing too slow. It's my fault for playing too slow. There's no there's no question. Like we Oh my god, we're still gonna win. We're still gonna win. Unless he has Elysiana, and then we don't win. But there's a chance we can win. <laughs> We're back in it, team. We're back in it, team. Um, man, that he's got Elysiana, though, I bet, and then we lose. That's going to make me so soul-cripplingly sad that I can't, I can't stand to look at myself. <sighs> he also just has giant dudes still, probably. <laughs> oh, remember that time I clicked the wrong card, guys? Remember that time I clicked the wrong card? That was a super fun time. I also remember that time. I think I just have to go face, right? Like, just pretend that's not there and go face. Um, and hope that there's some sort of fatigue out, right? Just kind of take my time here. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Remember that time, guys? I, uh, I clicked the wrong card and missed lethal. Like, I, I just... I, I don't even... Were they next to each other, or did I just see the two mana and just go? I, I need an instant replay. <laughs> I need an instant replay. Be careful of Divine Spirit. <laughs> That's 28 attack. That's 28 attack. Um, how much fatigue is he taking? I don't know if he has Elysiana, guys. He seems to be taking his, his sweet, precious time here. All right, we have a sick brawl. Thank, hopefully, hopefully the crowd roaster doesn't win, right? Because we have an insane brawl. Oh, we have execute too. Oh, we probably just execute and leave the Ysera up. No, I gotta kill the Ysera. But I need to trade. Oh, I'm burning the. Ah! I hate this game. I hate it. <laughs> I hate this game so much. So he has lethal. If I don't, if this wins the brawl, he has lethal, right? And I'm just dead. Uh, I still have to go for the brawl. Like, I have to go for the brawl. I have to go for the brawl. I think you misplayed a few turns ago. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I, it actually wasn't a misplay for the record. I, I have always maintained that a misclick is different than a misplay. I think those are different things. Um, we did misclick, though. We definitely misclicked. This may be a misplay by taking too long. Okay. We're back in it, team. Uh, I, he has another set of giant dudes, but I might be able to live long enough that he just dies to fatigue and weapons project, right? Oh, God, that's so big. Uh, Omega Devastator, though, uh, doesn't kill it. It does 14, 15. Oh. Uh. I have to Warpath, then, to kill it. He got armor up, unfortunately. You know what is in a misclick? Clicking the link below to check out the variety of <laughs> Hey, there it is. Save it. Save it, super Pyro. Safe, super cool wallets while protecting its contents with RFID blocks. Save it. Save it, Pyro. Good job, dude. Save me. 
Save me, dude. So, what's the next giant dude he has? Does he have one more big Ysera? I think so, right? I think he has another big Ysera. Um, yeah, he does. Okay, so we just ignore that and we play the... Oh, he's not armoring up. Oh! Oh! Interesting! Um, why can't I get a good hero power, by the way? Can we talk about that? So this might just be enough. He can kill it, I guess, because he got this freaking hero power. But he's taken five, and then he's taken six. So he has to gain life here. Uh, nightmares. I don't know if he's got enough nightmares yet to win. He has to kill this, so he can't even hit face. Is it just over? Does he have any life gain left? Like, shield block hurts him more than it helps him. Um, oh, triple Ysera awakens, but... He dies to the second one, and I live to the second one, so he can't do that. Dream? Okay. That's annoying, but not enough to win. I'm not dead to fatigue, so I win by one HP. Hey, Regis. Remember when you play Dragon Roar instead of Warpath? I remember. I do remember AOD Snarf, and I also remember winning the game. Anyway. <laughs> Best Hearthstone game in the history of the universe. Oh my god.